his own analysis back for another Bloodborne live occult live stream open source intelligence stream not a front now I'm testing something hey Caspian C quinine Oh yeah, uh, is this shit working? And my lives are showing starting soon. Or is it fucking up again? Oh yeah, uh, oh it's working. Is this shit working? And my lives are showing starting soon. Right. Or is it fucking up again? Oh, it looks yeah, like scheduling uh, it does not work, work very is well. Shit working? And my lives are showing starting soon. Right. Or is it fucking up Sorry, again? Sorry, Caspian Sea. I will share you on oh, It looks yeah, like it scheduling not. it does not work work very is well working and my life is showing starting soon right or is it fucking up sorry Caspian C I will share you on oh, it looks yeah, like scheduling it does not oh, it's working. work very is well working and my life is showing starting soon <laughs> right Alright, there we go. I'm sorry about that, Chad. Now, hopefully this time I will get the multi-streaming to actually... ...give me the streams... ...chat from... ...sources outside of YouTube. Alright. Like, if it's still sca the upcoming one, I'll get rid of that. Delete. I still haven't worked scheduling out very well for this, but yeah, pure insight edition. 100% David Meyer approved. Message retract. Uh, at least it's working with the starting. But yeah, I'm quite sick at the moment, so you're gonna have to forgive me. My current state, but I need the outlet, and I've done interviews much sicker than this, so I'll be fine. So, all I'm doing is essentially I'm going to have a cigarette and jump on. I'm just copying tags because I want as many fucking people as possible to have no idea what they're getting into. Alright. That should be good now. as a professional. Last thing I'm checking is... Multi-stream. I have 
You have an echo to Max capturing double sound. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I think I know why. Okay, that's muted. Might be. For, that should be muted. But yeah, here I am. Oh yeah, there, there is... Somebody, uh, try... I have to take off for a bit, hopefully you're still streaming when I get back. Yeah, I'll be streaming for a little while, you know. I just didn't have a quick cigarette and take my doctor medication, you know. Hand be hunting, brother. So I will be right back. Although I will stay on chat. This software is great, so... Let's see. So yeah, I will be starting in about approximately 7 minutes. I just thought I'd test the software out, thank you.
Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Chat? Yeah, that's good though, that you were off from fucking 2015 to 2023, yeah. I was shooting too back in the day. Thank you. Alright. I don't need that shit anymore. Though I do need... One hundred percent approves. Okay, welcome to my interzone analysis bloodborne open source intelligence stream. I am quite sick at the moment with a virus, but you know. I need a fucking outlet. But, Jay, that's good. I was on from the late 2000s till 2018, and then I fucking got back on in Central South Asia hardcore. But I was not in conditions where shooting morphine was possible given the living conditions were not exactly great I have enough uh... how do I put this fucking um... I had enough problems so I had to eat it weirdly I got no withdrawals months and months and months of a Ayurvedic medicine that's just opium and what's great about being in certain countries in bad situations and having status you just go to the pharmacy and they'll give you whatever the fuck you want you wear a suit and you speak the basic language enough they'll fucking give it to you. However, I don't promote that. Sleeping parties aren't exactly the most profitable, nor useful lifestyle choice. Tch. Ew. But shit, they do have a medical purpose. The amount of people that follow my work that have history with opiate addiction is astounding. And I can guarantee from the guys and women that are still using that uh, follow my work. It all started from stems back to injuries sustained in either being deployed overseas in a military capacity or from other work-related injuries. Almost everybody, including myself, got addicted because of the... initial opiate prescriptions until those prescriptions run out and you get left in with nothing solved, terrible pain problems and methadone, subitex or suboxone worse than fucking heroin, morphine, oxycontin but yeah I'm a investigative 
journalist. With a history in a lot of Islamic countries from my time overseas. And I've always had an interest in esotericism. So I made these as a kind of outlet. Sometimes they're streams that actually go into the esoteric and occult elements of this game. And they're massive. Amounts of it that people haven't covered and... Or it becomes an open source intelligence stream where people give me information from their time in Iraq, Afghanistan on shit going on with extremist organizations. You never know what you're going to get. Or or harm minimization due to everybody who comes from the kind of backgrounds that we do seem to have a lot of issues with opiate addiction big time so whoever it was that managed to fucking get off after shooting for that long and you're not dead that's an impressive feat man yeah where, where were you? what capacity? if you mind me asking Of it is in. Like I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be, but I'm legitimately shocked at the amount of people that follow my work that are essentially veterans in some capacity. with a lot of countries overseas is, is the accessibility if you are if you have the right passport wear a suit and especially if you know how to how do I put this if you're in an Islamic country and you are my white Muslim as I was and you are even more so from a fucking country that a lot of Mujahideen white Mujahideen fought from you get a lot of access to things that you wouldn't normally and there's different customs and different you know, uh, to put it this way, me having an issue with opiates in the Middle East was not a big issue in the Arab world because I didn't drink alcohol. Alcohol at all, far, far, far more socially unacceptable than having to be mainlined with pethidine <laughs> fucking demo roll before meeting with civil servants so I don't show weakness via having to sit down and communicate eat correctly which requires your hands and sitting on the ground and with the injuries I have and shit that, that was extremely painful so they prescribed me very high doses of opiates not to deal with pain in a traditional sense but to actually fucking not show weakness in front of men that respect only strength it's very interesting nothing major it was the medic in Iraq 2007-2009 was really depressing guilt ridden when I got back started drinking 
we're back to VA, got on psych meds, got on opiates a few years later. Do you mind what country? Um, most of my audience are in the America, the UK, and in uh, Europe. But since I'm streaming on multiple platforms from Australia at the moment, I'm getting Australian sometimes, so... But yeah, Iraq 2007, that was heavy, heavy shit was... Especially in 2007, R Ramadi in particular. I knew some guys that were... Um, having to hold Ramadi during the um, Al Qaeda in Iraq fucking hitting them non stop at the checkpoints. East Coast US. Where were you stationed in Iraq, man? Like, because you were there, you were there during. I mean, fucked. The insurgency got re taken over in 2003 by Abu Musad al zarqawi but it got really fucking bad in certain areas after the first battle of Fallujah. I mean, I have guys that jump on that were guarding El Baghdadi. You never know what you're involved in. But I've got a lot to say about Iraq. Hold on a moment. I appreciate you jumping on because mm. so then I fuck off global security oh, um. Forty kilometers south of Baghdad. Interesting. So you were in a mainly sh wait, were you in a mainly Shia um area? U.S. military installation. Alakasandaria, an ancient city in central Iraq, one of a number of towns in the near east founded and named after Alexander the Great. That makes sense. Um, Al I Alexander. Yeah, yeah, majority Shia district. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Alright, so you're near Masayib and also huh, Jeff Elsica, 70 kilometers south of Baghdad, near the Euphrates River. Man, you, you're in a very historical fucking place. Triangle of Death, shit. I love it when people like you show up, man. So, well, uh, do you mind? I'm not trying to interrogate you. I've, I'm, I'm generally fucking curious. 
had an old power plant on our base not too violent and who's got all the gold but fuck man um were you there as yeah 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 so you We'll see your power plant, frequent target of insurgent attacks due to its infrastructure importance. Be capable of supplying one quarter, one third of Iraq's electricity demands. So you would have been in a in a purely defensive, which is the worst case scenario possible in a military context, be in a pure defensive situation where you just attacked and hit again and again and again and again and again. Just static defense. No matter if you have 360 kill radius just set up and they just sent fucking dump trucks filled with explosives and s driven by a radicalized fucking 19 year old to where they put steel plates in front of the garbage truck to try and stop 50 caliber well you can't see and it, it helps a little bit <laughs> but they, they, they w work those dump trucks fuck man I've got some f I should I should put on some footage of um, I believe it was in 2007 in Iraq that I've got for a article well more than an article something I've been putting together for a long time I'll be able to show you this for a second in my cap because I can just drag this fucking screen recording if it's the right one not that one um On his own, he crept through the house, killing five of Zakawi's men. Where's my lovely dump trucks? On his own, he... I don't know if this w Oh, here we are! This shit... is fucking haunting, um... This is in... Ah, oh, fuck. Ramadi. Iraq. This is when you're in a state of constant static defense. Tell me if you can see this shit. I'm curious. They tried starting their old gold standard currency. I had some insane dreams or some fruition in Ishkan. Well, the jinn. Islamic concept. But, um, tell me if you can hear this. I'm not sure if it will pick up. Can, can you hear this shit, man? Before I fucking play that, did you hear the uh, lovely Nasheed music? Come on, because this is what it, this is Ramadi, fucking circa 2007, I think. Fuck. All right. So what's happening here? is that's a garbage truck full of explosives heading towards a US Marine Corps outpost in Ramadi and this is propaganda from Abu Musad al-Zakawi al-Qaeda in Iraq this is when they were, this is the worst place to fucking be during the Iraq war they were just in a state of static fucking defense getting hit in these lovely hotels so they're spraying the fuck out of this dump truck with a suicide bomber in it as you can see the fucking that's heavy fucking machine gun fire firing off Welcome to Iraq, circa 2006-2007. As soon as we got hit, the one... Static defense is a shitty situation to be in. Uh, 
that, that's in Ramadi. Uh, the, did the volume on that work? That's some footage from Al Qaeda in Iraq. Because I'm not sure if that would have picked up the sound. I get that fucking Nasheed music stuck in my head so much. Anyway. I knew some guys that were there. Great Nasheed! <laughs> uh. Alhamdulillah, brother. I've got so much fucking footage. I've got some of my own, but I keep that pretty... I lost a lot of shit during my separation because I, I won't go into it, I had to delete everything on my computer with no time so I lost almost all of the famous no, not fa uh, interesting pictures which is a shame because I have some pretty funny ones but who knows it might be a good thing, it's more enigmatic when you have no fucking idea But this, this this one's the classic, and I I, I had so many more. I sh I shouldn't. That's that I shouldn't be wearing that. That's that's. Haram. That's that you, you can't wear gold in Islam. So it's not pure gold. So I get a fucking pass. It's fucking beautiful, man. The Arabian Peninsula desert. It's a high quality version of this photo. I still have all this stuff, but yeah, it just goes on and on, it becomes very rocky eventually depending where you go, this, I like to leave it up to speculation, you need some fucking mistake. <laughs> no, you missed you missed the fucking Nasheed music, brother. I'm not in any way. You, I was using this as an example of fucking the kind of shit you had to deal with in Iraq during the time period someone watching was stationed in Iraq for, not to promote the. But yeah, anyway, the people behind that shit, he got two 700 pound bombs dropped on his fucking house and then shot point blank after somehow living. So, he's dead. But the demon fucking lives on. Okay, where am I up to in this game? So, I appreciate, Jay, all your input. Were you a combat medic and an officer? Like, were you um, U.S. Army Rangers, Marine Corps, fucking, um, if you want me asking. I get a lot of Americans, because no one in Australia knows I exist, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, I've got a complex relationship with with the war, and especially Afghanistan because of I know people on both sides. 
<laughs> and that that complicates things. But yeah, I've been putting together. I'm trying to put together an, uh, something, essentially an existentialist face on what violence, war, actually is. How much insight? Not much, because I've, I've barely... I'm in very early stages of the game. We need to get me more as more insight, you know? I'm dressed as the doll. I've got 30 arcane. My stats are only going to be fucking arcane. And I'll get as much insight as possible. I'll invade people and kill them and burn them to death. Combat medic, oh, tanker unit, and mechanized infantry unit helped train Iraqi police. Oh fuck, man! And was on a lot of missions during my 15 months there. I feel for the fucking Iraqi police. The amount, the fucking casualty rate of these guys was unbelievable. A lot of X, you know. Saddam military and then the Shia Sunni shit that started going on. <laughs> the <laughs> The sad thing is when you when you were pulled out in two thousand nine, you had only about a hundred and twenty guys associated with Al Qaeda in Iraq. Very well. Let me left that were of consequence, right? But then you pulled out Farewell. right before... You? Not you, the coalition. Right before being able to kill the last remaining of them that ended up sneaking off into Syria and shit and becoming ISIS. But... For reasons I've gone into before, it didn't serve the purposes of the systems of control to not pull out because they needed to create as much chaos as possible in the Middle East in order to exploit rare minerals, oil, because Desh just had fucking uh, their territory going through Iraq, Syria, later down the line, they had fucking trucks coming in and out of their territory, their quote caliphate, fucking uninterrupted. Constantly somehow not getting targeted bombs, those routes, those trade routes. Constant. Okay. Cathedral Ward. I'll see if I can invade somebody and kill them for their... Oh, yeah, most of the guys I knew were combat medics. In, in, in the Australian context, the combat medics in the Australian Army Special Operations Command, they were... No, it didn't really benefit them so much because fuck man, if you're getting, if you're having more Mujahideen, and you, uh, that's not a good thing for Israel. They've got enough people wanting to kill them, let alone having a massive influx. A lot of guys moved into the Horn of Africa associated and I'm not entirely sure but with regards to yeah oh hold on a second fuck I gotta deal with this shit oh Go but yeah, the tomb below Erden Chapel in uh, Ward. I'm in a bit of a fever dream, so give I me some um. First. 
this won't be my best stream. If I don't trigger this thing with her, she she's a she kills hunters that go crazy for blood. She's, she's essentially the destroyer of edge lords. I have to make sure she doesn't die. If I fuck it up, I used to have to re-roll. I essentially start the game all over again. That shit was from the 90s. That was purely for an activist to promote nothing but though he went insane that was an absolute joke plus there are far worse fucking people alright um I will have to take it easy today I'll try and get some more insight Alright, okay, let's see, I need to make sure she doesn't die. So, this is gonna be hard given I'm in a fucking fever dream. Oh, and the, the lean cough syrup shit, that was just a joke. Unprofessionalism. For my detractors. Takes away from the fact that I have interesting people and interesting things going on it's a way of playing yourself down where people just think you're an idiot so they assume yeah alright so I'm probably gonna fuck this up I'm not gonna re-roll roll if she dies because um, this isn't a proper play for you, that's pure insight I'll go into the esoteric elements and shit like that um, more to when I'm more lucid. Alright, I need to utilize shit I use to kill other players. Okay, I need uh, I need movement. I can oil and molotov the fuck out of him. And burn him. Throwing knives are good though. I use some numbing mist. I have to be tactical with this motherfucker, um... Yeah, I do kind of feel sorry for somebody that puts together something like that and then is waits too long, I guess. Okay, I've either come here to... Oh, there he is, Henrik. I actually better wear armor, otherwise I'm going to fucking die. I know it's ruining my doll cosplay, but I, I have to... Be strategic with this one. Do I have poison? I forgot the easy way to kill him. Um, I'm gonna try and backstab him. And then I'll have some paracetamol. Come on. 
let me get near you. There we go. It's not very honourable, but it works. Fucking numbing mist you, oil you, Molotov you, fuck you. No, no, you don't, you fucking cunt. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> don't die, Eileen. Fuck. Gotta save her. I want her shit later, and if she dies. <laughs> no, fuck that up. Come on. Y you can handle this. It's it's frozen at the moment, oh, hopefully. Okay, now I'm back. Oh, I'll be able to kill her. Back in the day, we uh, your actions actually have consequences. I have to get down there very quickly. Don't die, Eileen. No, no, you don't. I have to be careful because if I hit her. Oh, good. Don't hit Eileen, for fuck's sake. She'll start killing me. Fucking throwing knife you. Die, just. You, you did it! Holy shit. And she's not trying to kill me. I don't have to start all over again from the very beginning of the game to progress a story of her. Fuck. These were the good old days. wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. Thank you. They're not bad at all. That's tactical thing. You must have killed us going as well then. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. Yeah. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Nah, no, I'm gonna Even kill as many of them as possible. Approval. This is back in the day where you had to communicate with etiquette and gestures. the hunting of hunters to me yeah she's cool I Try like to keep, keep her alive me the hunt if any of you have a 
PlayStation. Um, someone yes, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, wanted to play with me. You can. I'll get rid of my the password for now because I want to invade. Welcome. What it? Over time, countless hunt to it. Very well. Then. Farewell, this is still hunting. very early stages. But I'm glad to see the amount of people getting off shit like opiates and heroin when they're utilized as a means of control if you can avoid them. I can't spend insight on them right now, but I do the autistic thing and get in my cosplay outfit. It's interesting, the amount of fucking times things have gone to opiates when this game got me off that. Okay. But yeah, this game has real world applications. It really is just a like my streams using new ways of communicating through different media and storytelling you're able to get across certain narratives and ideas mostly about cycles over and over and over again with the context of this game try to keep your hands clean leave the hunt Only Souls games I've played is Dark Souls 1, yep. Yes. I'm playing on a PS5 and streaming that to my computer. I've got Dark Souls Remastered on here too. I've also got the Dark Souls 2, uh, Demon Souls. I have uh, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3. I haven't played Souls games in quite some time. I've played all of them heavily during periods, but yeah, they've got me through a lot of rough times. I'm surprised because I haven't really looked things up. I remember how to do anything in this. Um. Well, what is it? Very well. I'll try invading with the sinister resonant bell to get insight by sacrificing certain people. Well, I'm surprised there's still anybody playing this fucking Very game well. other than me and Farewell, good hunter. May you find Welcome, what? Very well. Farewell, good hunt. I'm just going with pure arcane. I know no, I'm streaming it uh, kind of stream time. So I have Bloodborne on disc but never bothered playing it. It's the best in my opinion, but my opinion is highly subjective on the matter.
Okay, I'll try invading somebody, fuck it. Although I'm not... I put something like a thousand hours into Bloodborne but I was coming off large amounts of opiates so it was another way to not have to need Valium so that bell the this system of invasion in this game uh, PvP works quite strangely Oops. Fuck's sake. you have to be in proximity to the bell ringing woman I seriously do not know how it works completely She's up there somewhere. There she is. Comparing the playthrough of Dr. Ron to internal jihad rekindling of faith. I've spent years looking into the lore of these games beyond just, you know come on I know this game is in 2015 no, don't attack me I'm you're here to get me invaded or me invade somebody I'll have These games are unbelievably esoteric and they're designed deliberately to have real world implications not just, you know within the lore of the game these you're forced into a world where you don't understand what's going on you can either do what most people do and play for 10 minutes go this is too hard and then quit you can persevere and realize this is a fun game series like Dark Souls but there's no story or then you can go there's something strange going on here but then you start realizing especially Dark Souls 1 the entire story of the game is manufactured yes I'm invading somebody All right. I'm gonna probably die because my character's build right now is shit. I'll put my microphone on. We're gonna make you an offer. I don't... Alright. No! Don't you dare send me back to my own world. Without killing him. Most likely there'll be two of them, and I'm probably gonna die, but... See, I'm helping you guys now, you don't have to kill me. There they are. Oh, oh! I saw a Lincoln. So, no, 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 fuck you. Damn. Fucking, oh, 
sir. I shouldn't be focusing on the cooperator, that's my mistake. I should be trying to kill... Oh, there's fucking three of them? You're gonna burn for that. Fuck you all. With your little cosplay. <laughs> oh, you need three. This is essentially what I usually do when I play any game by From Software. <laughs> I don't lose insight at least, though now I'm going to have to use the amygdala of my brain to get the resources that I lost trying to kill those players. You can get very efficient at it, invasions. So, Caspian, if you're still there, I'm going to let you decide the fate of somebody, of where we send them, if you want to make an offer of them or not. I'll get some good karma and no, 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 not the beckoning bell. Fuck's sake! I don't want to summon anybody. God damn it! Hmm. Thank you. I need to go down a certain alleyway. My weapons are absolutely trash to it. These church monstrosities created through blood administration through different factions of the church so everything in this game was mostly human this district is is the Melbourne of Yarnum it's the most heavily oppressed by this uh, lockdown it reminds May of 2020. Terms. In what sense? Oh, good. More Madman's knowledge that I can. Okay, this guy's gonna try and burn me if I remember. Yep. Essentially there's characters in this game that are NPCs and you can decide their fates depending on where you send them. One is to the chapel with somebody that looks very suspicious who however is benevolent. The other is to a woman who has been... Hmm? You know what? I'm gonna make the guy an op for because I need him to die and I'll, I need the reward to kill other players that I'll get um, I'm not sure in the context of the UK 
This place reminds me of Mel Oh, Poison Knives. Fantastic. They're very good for invasions. So, this is used by healing doctors. Traditionally avoid the use of poison because the poison is too slow to act the heart of the hunt. This district has been locked down very heavily and the populace are in absolute fear. It reminds me of a certain oh time. My, what a queer scent. She's cool. I'm gonna say but I'll take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. Fuck. What is it? This is the a um sacred I'm off whore. Hunts, and besides, this is no place for ladies. I like this woman. You down too. <laughs> uh, I don't I I think something interesting I think I have to keep her alive. I'm sorry. Because Yeah, I'm gonna oh, keep her alive. Goodness. You're a hunter, aren't you, dear? Might you know of a safe place? The night is long and there's very little of the incense left. Please, there must be Incense is used in almost every culture to keep away demons or jinn. Alright, so you can send her to two places. Esophagus Clinic is a place that is being taken over by a woman who killed Isofka, took her identity, works for a occult intelligence organization involved in the higher stratums of the church at war with an academic organization over interesting arcane knowledge. Anyway, I'm gonna send her because I need her to give birth to something as my say uh, Babylon figure. God, the amount of, of uh, references to childbirth which is mostly the, the, the adept being reborn after crossing the abyss in an occult sense but this goes into cosmic olive oil. I, 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 I'm gonna save her. Perhaps I'll see you there. <laughs> We're gonna send a useless guy oh, to die though. Perhaps I'll see you there. She's 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 useful. She can live. You You're not from around here, are you? Well an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from our castle. Uh, wait, where... Uh, finding opium and cannabis related scented incense um, I've got opium incense, but it's not opium. Though I'm not sure if what you're talking about is... But no, I've had Islamic medicine full of opium. Um, Unani medicine. It's... Central and South Asian Islamic version of Ayurvedic medicine, essentially. So similar to Indian medicine. Works very well. Very good. You still live close to Cambridge. In oh, interesting. Um, I'm not from the UK. Uh, this guy's intelligent in that he. This guy is is a very good metaphor for the alternative scene. He will do the opposite of what you tell him to do. Of you. But it ends just as badly. Well, I certainly don't. You're in the UK, but all the way well, south. We're about south. 
I've been to the UK, but um, that was a very long time ago. Most of my work is involving this fucking incarnation of myself is involved with people and organizations in the UK, so... Uh, What's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to try Dorset. to oh. Yeah, why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> Speaking of Cambridge, Cambridge Circus London, um, which is, hold on a sec, oh wow, well, yeah, you are down south, I'm, I'm bad when it comes to the UK, I, I, I'm not very well versed on the territory, but, um... It's... the game's based on Prague, and mostly in, um... the Czech Republic, but also on a few places in Romania. Alright, so let... this guy will go to the opposite of where you send him. So, he needs to die, he needs to be an opfer. Do you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? So this is the person that put, uh, so I'm going to tell him, the. I want him to get killed by her, so I can get a, sh a gift. So... Yeah, sorry, too sharp for that bollocks. <coughs> I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders, even their lies are predictable. Alright. What? Still prone on folks with your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. Tell me about your little safe place. Huh. Yeah, go. Uh, yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that bollocks. Outside <laughs> That's alternative media in a nutshell. It's just as bad as the mainstream. People either believe in everything, or they go to the other extreme and believe in absolutely nothing anybody says, so you're a, uh, it's a grey area. You must accept women. Oh, no, fuck off. No! Shit, shit, shit. He also have a caliphate yet. <laughs> you know something fucked up? Um, all the guys I knew that got radicalized hardcore by uh, uh, ISIS all came out of mosques in the UK, masjids in the UK. All the Al Qaeda guys and that, they, they who you can actually deal with to some degree, they they were. Not radicalized by. They were they the Desh guys. They they were the less extreme Muslims usually that went to the UK, and they came back more radicalized than the local population in places I uh, was in, and to the point where they're feuding with each other. <laughs> but yeah, the UK is where you go more than anywhere else to be radicalized by <laughs> the worst. <laughs> oh, if you wear a church outfit, these people, their, all their attitude changes. It's very interesting. Ever heard of Suffolkshire? It's a place in the UK I need to go one day. And I can't pronounce it.
Well, you need to just learn, it's very easy to operate in Islamic territory, you just need to learn some basic Arabic and how to pray. And not argue or bring up you know you can't really deal with um I appreciate people um, jumping in with all kinds of shit on these streams. I will set things up a bit better, and I'm actually doing serious work. This is kind of an outlet for me right now as a way of being able to do something that's fun, interact with people, which is been very interesting and um, it makes it is balancing out the more how do I put this difficult stuff that I deal with and also the more complex I've been doing I'm thinking of putting on a live performance at some point musically Richard Malt style but in a way that people might not expect. Because this medium, like with everything, you have to constantly change and adapt. I don't know, I haven't really kept count. But I just wanted people to know who like my work for its more serious stuff that I'm in no way stepping away from that. Everything worked today except Facebook. So I'm on Instagram, even though I don't... Yeah. I've also made a Discord server. Shit, I probably killed myself. Nope. Which I've set up. And hopefully it won't become an absolute nightmare. I haven't set it up properly but yeah I watched one of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password and second adage of the Grand Cathedral But yeah, I intend on... Mm. But you have to adapt constantly. If you want to do anything independently and... I'm finding this a very interesting medium. As is a bait and switch. I I found Telegram to have issues for reasons I won't go into. Yeah, I don't get involved in anything. It's more of being able to have more freedom on various platforms so if I get in trouble on one you have to diversify your talents and so uh, 
As this is a bit of a... And yeah, it's a... Outlet, entertainment has changed. In the end, what I'm doing is entertainment. And... Concerts, things like that, bands, everybody... Journalism... Everybody... Is... Trying... To do things for the most part in ways that are either more socially acceptable but they're not using experimentation very much anymore which is something I believe in thoroughly and with this I'm able to drag footage from Al Qaeda in Iraq from 2007 while talking to a guy that served in another area during the same time period whilst playing a game streaming on multiple platforms at the same time, being able to do this while I'm sick connect people to information and do something interesting, it's Because I need to essentially find a way to get to more people, connect, and new means of, of getting information and Yeah. And there's not much... I don't like... I don't dr drink alcohol. I don't go out and get drunk on the weekends, you know, and... This... Welcome there's home, very few places to be able to talk to people about... Very well. ...things these days. So I have now over time to get all farewell may you f But I appreciate uh, people coming on Today I'm a bit more out of it than normal because I've been quite sick but I'm getting a lot of value from this. If people that are supporting my musical work, this medium is very useful for being able to do things live. Oh, hello. You're all right. So this is the spook that I've Very given good. somebody. She's safe with me now. Yeah. I presume you're to thank. The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Fantastic. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear, find me some more. <laughs> there may yet, if you find them, send them. I endeavor to treat every survivor there is. So please, be a saint. around in 
in this game with regards to the characters, because there's very few. So the old guy, he went to get himself Opford from his lack of trust. Oh, I went to the wrong place. She's... The, um... Sacred... There's a... Ha! Ah, hi Jacob Suckness, how are you going? It has been a long time, man. <laughs> Hold on one moment, I um, need to take some paracetamol. I won't be streaming for very much longer as I am quite unwell. But I I've I've missed you. Okay, I can't take. Oh yeah. And it seemed, let me have a look to make sure you're the, the... Right, Jacob Sarkness. Yes! You've got a beard, it seems. Nice, man. I'm sorry I haven't been in contact, Jacob. I've been having a lot of things going on. I haven't been able to The beard is gone. <laughs> Okay, so this is the, uh, they've got a dichotomy of the sacred whore and the sacred virgin, which are both one. She, later you find a church woman, whom gets very jealous of your relationship with this very benevolent harlot, and over their menstrual blood, essentially, and they... If you don't kill the church mouse, she'll kill her. But I need her to give forth... give birth to the uh, cosmic entity from outer space, essentially, that inhabits this church. To give birth to a eldritch horror, so I needed to keep her alive and kill the jealous virginal woman. <laughs> Fuck, it's esoteric. So she she's essentially that. Oh my god, I'm not even well enough to be able to properly go into the absolute brilliance of. The relationship between her and another character in this game that's very subtly done happy happy birthday man I hope it went well oh hello dear you weren't lying this is a safe place thank you yes this is very Lovecraftian Professional. 
I will be able to, to work this out. Curtsy. That... I'd like to tender my thanks, but I can't imagine what to offer. Essentially... All I can give is my blood. Yes. But would you even <laughs> take a whore's blood? Yes, I will. Please receive... I want your blood oh, ministration. Good. Your special oh, blood. You. Thank you. Don't worry. I've done this before. <laughs> Ariana. Hold on. I need to. So we. She's dead, we've got her blood. Only women in this game can have the refined blood. Uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki has obviously been reading a lot of. Uh, of the works of Alistair Crowley. Blood taken from Ariana, Cathedral Ward Woman of Pleasure. The sweet blood of Ariana restores HP and temporarily speeds up stamina recovery. It's a very useful item. Yeah, yeah. As a member of the old healing church would know that her blood is similar to precisely what was once forbidden. I would save the church woman for her blood but I can't risk her getting murdered because I need her to give birth to an eldritch horror for me because in the end it goes back to the greater picture because none of these people matter all that matters <laughs> I want her to birth my son the satanic messiah well that's exactly what I'm doing in this game with her however I will kill her and it will kill her um, Immaculate Conception from an Elder God Which Happens later in game If I don't allow her to be killed What's great is I can use her blood which is actually extremely useful As much as possible and she'll just keep giving it to me It's 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 very useful very invigorating I like her, she's cool. Um, hold on a sec. I'm in a bit of a fever dream, so I'm not as uh, lucid as I want to be. This has actual, very interesting correspondences to things in real life, but. and also to things in. Eastern and Western, Western esotericism. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. I've only so much blood, okay? <laughs> oh, hello. Sorry, I've only so. Oh, yeah, I gotta make. He's happy because I'm oh, sending people to him. Thank you. So, well, she. She actually talks to me. Well, only now and then, and she don't mince words. But she's a kind one. I can tell. A good woman. <laughs> if he gets it. Saint survivors. Well, send him a lot to Erden Chapel, will ya? <laughs> I'm gonna send this old woman here. Bind the nations in darkness. <laughs> what fucking time is it over there? Oh, you guys are East Coast. That's why I'm getting a lot of Americans. Okay, that makes sense. I um I don't want to go uh, because I'm enjoying this, but. I have a few things I've got to sort out. Uh, what, uh, Welcome. What? But what I will do before going it. Farewell, good may. is quickly find the old woman because I need her. Old women have drugs, and I need her sedatives in this game because 
I'm gonna be mainlining the secret truth of the fucking universe with insight. <laughs> oh, th thank you, Jacob. And you are some bo you are a fucking master with regards to. Creating an entire f pulling using essentially chaos magic an entire religion from the uh, Simon Necronomicon. It's absolutely amazing. Uh. Yeah. I have the one ring and it's been used in occult ceremonies. For nearly a day I power through this new day. I haven't been sleeping too well recently either, so... Okay, old woman. Uh, I remember where she is. And I'll have to jump off. Just, just don't use fucking methadrine crystal to power through. It's not worth it. That's great, man. Oh. And a little girl. I need to send her sister to also die for me. I think. No, she's not there yet. Jacob Sarkis is one of the most interesting people I have come across and is greatly misunderstood. Very enigmatic. And ha makes a lot of brilliant points. And has... It's very different than what people think. Very, very intelligent and very funny man. Yeah. So what is it now? Are much better ways to pass. We can up. definitely organize something in the yeah. future, man. Okay, I need to send her. I need her drugs, so I need her alive. Fuck, I have to actually look something up. Insight zone. Yeah, I need. I need to look up quickly whether to make her an op for or not. I've forgotten. Um. Because I need her, if she stays alive, she gives me, um, drugs, which are useful. If I kill her, send her to the, um, medical establishment taken over by... Elder God worshipping, well, apotheosis intelligence officers for... I haven't been looking shit up. Alright, so I'll get shit I can use to kill people and insight. Keeping her alive. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her alive. I need her sedatives. Her drugs are more important to me than her death. And then I'll kill her. Official. This is all secret. Official O N A material. O N I N A. David Meyer. I mean Anton Long himself. 
Hidetaka Miyazaki. A fifth official outer representative of, of the ONA. Give me your drugs, you fucking old bitch. Give me your sedatives. See, that's what this is for. I don't give a shit about any of this. I don't give a fuck about the people. It's for those sedatives, man. She's she's my Nebutal and Quaalude supplier. She, that's all that matters. And the menstrual blood. I need I need that shit. My I'm, uh, only people I'm saving are my drug dealer and my escort, my prostitute. Everyone else is is an op for. And I think there's a valuable lesson in that. Ofi official O and A material on on what's important in life. None of this matters. Only my escort matters. Her and my sedative dealer. Everyone else can die, <laughs> and it's all well. Uh, I'm I'm joking. But yeah, I've... Sedatives. With, with someone with as much insight as me, well this character's gonna get... They need fucking sedatives. There she is. Oh no. I haven't forgotten. Do you think I owe you something? Well, Jacob, you need to that. fucking... Get yeah. You, you need to print it. It's all your fault. Get ready to outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. <laughs> I know your type. So we, we we've got a. <coughs> you. Why is it? Everything I need to do in Asmon Gold and nothing matters yet but my harlot and my sedative dealer. Don't worry, she'll I'll work her well enough and 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 this old lady is gonna give me all of her fucking nebutol, quaaludes, all that shit. And she's old, she gets the real shit, not Xanax, fucking the good stuff. That they don't prescribe anymore, but they can't take her off. <laughs> yes, because I'm I'm uh, uh the, I need her menstrual blood and other things and oh hello. Sorry dear, you're much too eager. I've only so much blood, okay? Ah, uh. oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? So I have made well, a Discord like server. A I'm not entirely sure still. whether I should I share it now. It's not very here. well put together at the moment, sadly since I just threw it together and I have people new found hello sorry for bothering you want to offer a promotion for your channel no no go uh, go away uh, I'm not a fucking shield Jay, I highly recommend this book for your occult collection. Probably more than any other.
Nexium is a anti. Uh, um, what's it called? Anti uh, fucking. How you spelt it? Ant anti acid medication in Australia. <coughs> Hair care products for volume and shine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I have to go. Even though a lot of interesting people have shown up, I appreciate all the input. Also, Jay, thank you for giving me some insight with regards to your time in the Triangle of Death. in Iraq that that was cool and and to the usual I will link to my fucking um discord maybe uh well my server I did, I've just essentially made it so And I've got too much stuff going on, so I'll I'll do it another time soon where I have more time I can. But yeah, thank you, thank you all. I hope you all have a good night. Um, given most of you are in America and the UK, hopefully I will get better soon. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I will be back soon for another stream. Take care, everyone. Bring God.